everyone. Today we're going to talk about self-help techniques for um, chronic pain from overuse injuries in the hands, wrists, fingers. Um, I am a manual therapist. I've been licensed for 25 years and I specialize in myofascial release and I often see people come in with chronic pain, stiffness in their fingers, they think they have arthritis, or uh, I see a lot of texting them. I'm sure maybe even you might have experienced that a little bit. Uh, I know I have. Um, I see a lot of people who are told they have carpal tunnel syndrome from typing or using a mouse on their computer, which they quite possibly could, or sometimes it hasn't gotten that severe yet so uh, they don't really need to have surgery, but there's things they can do um, to prevent them having to get to that point of needing surgery. Um, it's all about self-care. So if you are the type of person that uses your hands, especially if you're holding intricate, in, in, <laughs> intricate tools, like dental tools or a crochet needle, or um, if you're a musician holding on to your guitar and moving your fingers, that kind of motion will often um, set people up for chronic pain and inflammation in the joints of the hands and wrists. So um, let me show you a few things that you can do at home. Um, some of them require nothing more than your hands, but I'm also gonna show you a few little tools that you can invest in. Some of them are cheap, others not so cheap, but it's up to you. <clears throat> um, I highly recommend having some good tools if this is something that you can't avoid. Sometimes it's your job and you need to keep doing your job. Um, so it's worth having these self-help tools, but you know, it's up to you. If you just want to use your, your hands like I'm going to show you, that will work nicely too. So first, let's talk about the hands. Um, oftentimes when we feel the pain in the wrists, um, in the palms, in the fingers, crocheters get it a lot in the pinky, we focus on trying to stretch that out. So it's always a good thing to stretch. There's a million YouTube videos telling, showing you how to stretch your hands out. I'm not going to even go into that because it's so basic. Um, but sometimes stretching is not enough. And sometimes we're focusing on the wrong areas. Um, I want you to just right now hold on to your arm like that. And I want you to move, uh, clench, open and clench your fists. And can you feel these muscles up here firing? They're, they're contracting, they're relaxing. Oftentimes, it's higher up where the problem is. It's high, it starts higher up. So it could go all the way up to the elbow, these muscles, or it could go all the way up to the shoulder or even up into the neck. I often see carpal tunnel syndrome actually starts in the neck because a lot of um, the nerves that innervate the arm come off of the cervical vertebra. So, but for today, we're only going to focus on from the elbow down. The techniques I can show you will, 90% uh, of the pain will um, respond to this, okay? So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to massage your forearms. So. Um, I like to get a little bit of coconut oil or lotion, whatever, something that is not too slippery, but will give you a little bit of glide so there's not a lot of friction on the skin. So I'm using coconut oil today, and I just rub that in. And what you want to do is put your arm on a flat surface, um, and you're going to just feel up and down your arm. You can see my arm's red because I already did this to myself. <laughs> I do this regularly because I, I work with my hands and my hands are often painful and I have a long day of clients today. Um, so just rub, just take your finger and just press in and rub up and you're gonna feel a lot of little lumpy areas, okay? So now you're gonna take a fist and with the flat part of your fist, put your arm on the table and you're going to really press down into that arm and you're just going to slide it all the way down. You see how my fingers close up when I do that because I'm activating these muscles, okay? So I start on this side. Watch my fingers when I get, there it goes. I'm not doing that, that's my muscles from doing the, 
the technique, okay? So you go down a couple times in each place. You're going to come to areas that feel lumpy, that feel sore, and you're gonna just hang out there for 30 seconds to a minute. And if it's, especially if it's sore, you're gonna notice that the pain starts to dissipate a little bit. And that's how you know you can move on. So you wanna do like maybe 10 to 12 long strokes, pretty deep with, with your uh, fist, okay? And you're gonna go over all of these little lumpy areas, just back and forth, back and forth. And after that, once you feel like it's smoothed out, then you're done. A good, good litmus test is before you start that, make yourself a fist, open and close. Then do that and do it again. And you're, gonna, you're not gonna believe the difference in how loose your hand is and, and how easy it is to grip, especially if your hand feels really, really tight. Another thing I like, almost better um, than that, but either way, it's still good, is um, I get some type of little tool. This is a Chinese soup spoon. Um, uh, there's a technique that I like to use even in my practice. It's called Gua Sha. And um, it's, um, I don't know what it means in Chinese, but what it does is it breaks up restrictions in the arm and it allows for um, the muscles to be nourished um, with, with, you know, fluids. Because when we have restrictions, nothing's really flowing through there. And the Chinese call that Sha, they call it um, Sha meaning stagnation. And we're breaking that up so that everything can flow through nicely, nourish the tissue. So you get your, your spoon or um, you can use like the top of a Tiger Balm can, anything that has a lip to it because you're gonna again want some, some lotion. So if you're using Tiger Balm, use the lid of that. Um, so you rub that in and you take your tool and you go like at a 45 degree angle and you just bring it down it shouldn't hurt um, it just feels it's it's kind of a an annoying feeling but it's not painful and with the tool you're going to feel all of these little lumpy areas that are your restrictive areas you're just going to keep going over and over see how red this is getting um, it's very common because we're, we're moving Shaw, we're breaking up restrictions. And this is not permanent. This will go away in a couple hours, maybe it'll take a day. But you just keep going down. And if you have specific pain somewhere, like for me, it's always my thumbs. So I put a little lotion there and I can take a smaller part of this spoon and I can just really, really go in there with it move that okay so you can target it to your painful areas but never forget to do this part because this is where all the muscles are that enter, that um, activate your hands okay so that's a nice little tool that really works nicely um, and again see all that that is my restriction breaking up okay so when you're using your hands a lot you're gonna have restrictions in the muscles so this is how you break them up, okay? And don't worry about hurting yourself because your body will know if you're going too deep, okay? Um, you're gonna feel things happening and you're gonna know you're, you're on the right track, even if you don't have any manual therapy experience. The next thing I like to use are these little piezo pens, okay? This is, a, this is my professional one. Um, but they also make a, a cheaper version that you can get on Amazon. I think this was like $15 on Amazon. Um, this, this is like 75. Um, but I like this one better, but if I wasn't a professional, I, this one would be fine. Um, and so again, you find where your painful spot is. So for me, it's my thumb. And you just push the little button. It's a little trigger activated spark. And it feels like a little shock, but not that bad and you just go around it if you're if it's the pinky for you and again try to get some on these muscles in the arm okay and just about 20 20 um, activations per location okay and this thing is 
magic. I love this thing, um, especially if there's an active pain site. I just keep pummeling it with this, and you wouldn't believe how fast it dissipates the pain. Um, last but not least is my very favorite tool, and it may be a little steep for some of you. Um, this is, a, again, a professional model, but they make a home version of this. I think you can get them for between three and five hundred dollars so we're, we're talking an investment here but it does everything it's not just for pain it's if you have a, an upset stomach if you have a toothache if you have a headache I mean you can use it for a lot of different things it's called a Skinar device and um, the home unit is made by a company called Danas and they have a lot of little accessories um, what it is, is it's an electrode unit and it stimulates healing. Um, you're going to feel like tingling. It just kind of energizes the area. So you turn it on and I use the glove attachment because again, pain in my hands. So when I get home from work or after I've knitted or crocheted a blanket and my hands are sore, I put these on and for 20 minutes, I just sit there and I crank up the juice. You can put it as high as you want. And you're gonna just feel tingling and electricity. And so effective. And I use this probably three or four times a week. That's another thing I wanna mention. If you're gonna do the gua sha, you don't wanna do that more than twice a week, all right? Um, because you want to allow the tissue to heal in between sessions, okay? Um, but other than that, it's it's very safe. All these things are very safe, even if you're not a professional. Um, they also have magnets that I love. Um, you can get these on Amazon too. They're just like, they look like little band-aids with a little magnet, okay? And you can put it right on the point of pain and you can leave it there. Um, I usually put them on before I go to bed. Um, sometimes they stay on through several showers, but I wash my hands like seven, eight times a day when I'm at work. So if I put it on my hands, they're not gonna last. But if I put it on my knee or something, they last for a long time. So these are helpful too. So that's, that's what I have for you. Any and all of these techniques will really help you keep your hands free from pain and soreness so you can do your hobby your job, whatever it is. Um, and it's a good way to just stay on top of things before they do get to a point where you gotta go to the doctor and maybe even have surgery. So um, if you have any questions, just drop me a line. I will put some links in the, the photo, I mean, in the video of um, places you can buy these things or not. Um, as far as the soup spoon, I got, I just got this at an Asian um, market. It cost me $1.69. But like I said, you can use anything you have as long as it's not sharp, sharp, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's it. So hopefully that helped you out and hopefully you will see some positive results. Take care. Bye.